Well, imagine a phone call from your son or daughter. You hear screams and a demand for money by a stranger. What do you do? Eyewitness News' Stuart Hammer found out it could be a scam. He's in the newsroom now to explain why. Stuart? Shelly, scams are about as old as time, but they do continue to evolve. A virtual kidnapping scam started in the Southwest and is now targeting people on the East Coast. This story is from a terrified mom in Rhode Island, and it may only be a matter of time until it happens here. I heard a muffled mom and then like silent crying and I kept saying to her, what's wrong, what's wrong? Gail got the call from who she thought was her daughter. I heard a man's voice. He said, you need to listen to me very carefully. The number was spoofed and the man gave her careful instructions. Go honk your horn so I know you're listening, the man said. Then wire money to see your daughter again. He said, you get off this phone and I'm going to blow her brains out. But her cell phone was the only way to reach the people she needed to scrape together the ransom. So she hung up. I tried calling back three or four times and at this point I thought I put a bullet in my kid's head. She called police and called her daughter again, desperate for an answer. And finally, she picked up. Like, where are you? I was so confused at this point because I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. It's all an elaborate hoax. Scammers target victims through deceptions and threats trying to cash in on a quick ransom before their scheme falls apart. Scams try to get you when you're most vulnerable, like when you least expect it. Vandenberg County Sheriff Dave Wedding is unaware of this kind of scam happening around here, but you should treat all unfamiliar callers the same. Don't let them talk you into divulging information, like don't say who your grandson or granddaughter's name is. Make them tell you who they have. He suggests you let a strange number go straight to voicemail. If not, be suspicious of every demand. If you get a call that just sounds so unreasonable, it probably is. Gail's daughter is fine, and so is her bank account. Like Police want you to think twice if it sounds too crazy to be true. And if it does happen to you, to you, you get that call, hang up the phone and call 911, and don't give out any personal info. In the newsroom, Stuart Hammer, Eyewitness News.